All right, we're here at Hebe Beauty Bar uh, with Sam and Kendra. A couple of us going to get some treatments. Uh, this uh, tired old face is, is going to get a little bit of improvement, but I'm getting disport today. Uh, yeah, and like I said, a couple of us are, are going to get some treatments to show what it's all about. And uh, yeah, uh, bring on the Brotox. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to talk about why we chose what product we chose. Um, so like I was saying before, we do use Botox and Disport. Both are superior products. Botox obviously came out first. So everybody knows Botox, right? Disport came out a few years later. The main difference is Disport has more of a potent particle size per unit, meaning it can get to that nerve ending much quicker. So usually in about 24 hours, it's at the nerve ending, whereas Botox can take a lot longer. Because it is more of a potent particle size per unit, um, it kicks in quicker and it also can be a little bit more aggressive. So I find somebody who has young, youthful um, muscles that like has that collagen and elastin to hold the product. Um, we like to use Disport. If we were to um, have a client who's maybe older, has a little bit more of like tissue paper skin or has issues with um, really hooded lids and is older, we would probably do some Botox. So that's kind of why we chose Disport for him. Um, and everybody kind of likes to get results sooner. So it's just really popular in that sense. Um, so right now, Sam just cleaned the face. So we clean the area with chlorhexidine. If you come in without makeup, that's ideal. If you do, we are going to ruin it. So just know that we have to clean the area. Once we clean it out, we map your muscles. So the glabella region is the 11. So when we frown really hard and we see those two lines, that's usually what people's main concerns are. So those are the corrugator muscles pulling in. On men, a lot of times the procerus muscle is taking over and that's the line that goes across here. So when we're treating the glabella region, I see Dustin checking himself. Yeah. <laughs> you, you want a treatment. <laughs> so when, uh, treatment. <laughs> when we treat this area, what we're going to do is we're going to see results of it lifting and softening those lines. And then Sam also did the frontalis muscle, very, very common area. Frontalis muscle actually can drop the brows because it is a lifting muscle. So we like to treat higher. That's why she kind of did the no fly zone area. Um, and men just take more units than females because their muscles are stronger. And then crow's feet. <laughs> um, you can see <laughs> with Ted. One for the boys. Actually, when he smiles, you can see that his lines go all the way into his brows, meaning he is going to get a nice brow lift. If you smile really big and you only see lines down here, you won't see as much of a lift. So Sam's going to do the treatment now. All right. So it's going to just feel like little mosquito bites. It's it, quite like comfortable. Eyes closed better? You, eyes open? Keep your eyes closed just because okay. I feel like then you don't see me coming. No. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you eye when I'm... I'm going to tell you when I'm... Oh, yeah. That is... You're right. I, yeah. Um, these areas are quite comfortable. I'd say eyes are sometimes a little more sensitive. You can obviously bruise and bleed when it comes to treatments. I would say this area is the highest bruising area. Usually we typically don't see a ton of bruising on top, but anytime you get a needle in the face, you can bruise. I would say I got in a fight. That's right. Nice <laughs> and tight. Uh, so here's just a little needle. poke. Yeah. yeah. So the treatment itself is very, How was that? very clean. I did, honestly Nothing. did not even know you did that. Yeah. Exactly. So some of them are a little bit more pinchy than others. Like that one might have been a bit more pinchy. So I see Ted's kind of a little flush in the cheeks. Is there, can we, can we clean that up at all? So there's multiple things you can do. Um, I would say if you're looking for a quick fix, you can actually put Botox. So um, Botox, Disport, putting it in different layers of the skin will do different things. So a lot of times if you're flush in the area, you can hyper dilute that. So right now, all of our product is one to one. So you can hyper dilute it like even four or six to one and just kind of flood the area with little injectables. And that is going to kind of close up um, the gland. So then it's not as red. Short term, not going to um, be a forever thing, but it's something to do over the summer. Uh, we also have a redness solution product. A lot of people have rosacea and red cheeks. So using a product that has um, ingredients that will help with that is also really popular. And then lastly, laser doing a laser facial where they can actually go in and the laser is actually really good at finding the pigmentation or the vascular area that needs to be treated. So He'll, he'll most likely see best results with um, laser, but all of those are good options. How is that so far? Oh, it's fine. Yeah. And she's almost done. Oh. So it's a very, very quick treatment. Um, a lot of people just get worked up because it's the unknown. And it's also 
you know, you don't see any results. You're spending however much money and you walk out and you see nothing but bug bites. Um, so it, it can throw people off a little bit, but once you, you know, once you start to see the results in about five to seven days, within two weeks, he'll see full results and he'll be hooked. So will there be any like post between the now and the seven days? Is there any pain or is it just... That's a good question. So I wouldn't say pain. Um, some people, it can induce a little bit of a headache. So if you are prone to headaches or migraines, these are two areas that we treat for the migraine treatment. So that's also what we do here is medical um, Botox. So these two areas obviously can induce a migraine. So when it's relaxing, sometimes it can cause a little bit of fogginess or a little bit of a headache the next day, take a Tylenol. Um, the main downtime is more bruising and swelling. But that's also very short lived, and I don't think you bruised him. Nope. So and that is the whole treatment. Yeah. Oh no, wow. No. So it'll be. You look like a new man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two weeks before it's fully kicked in, he's going to notice de decreased movement over the next um, like seven to nine days. But two weeks is full effect. So if he does still have movement that he's not happy with, he can come see us in two weeks, and we will do a touch up, and then get him the results he wants. And so seven days is probably the best time to get a new profile pickup on those apps or 12 12 days okay you heard it yeah you heard it here first. there you go you're yeah. done perfect oh. that's it um all right well that again we just did, did the treatment uh someone who's gotten his back waxed a whole bunch uh, like laser hair removal even like a massage that was the least painful kind of uh, i guess treat yourself type of treatment that i've had so yeah that's anyone who i guess is afraid of needles that was not bad at all Am I allowed to smile? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now that my treatment is uh, done, we're going to go offline here. Uh, the athlete is and Aaron are going to get some treatments as well. But, oh, actually, don't go anywhere. I got to grab something before I wrap up this interview. Oh, yes. We don't come empty-handed. No. We should. Yeah. Oh, no, is that? Yeah. <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> All right. Well, as a thank you for the support of our podcast and making us all look younger and, and more beautiful, we did notice there's a, a something missing out front in the lobby. So we did wanted you? to give you... <laughs> <laughs> no, this will probably be... We noticed there's some empty space in your garbage or recycling bin. Uh, so we do want to present you with this a limited edition. There's actually like 500 of these that we can't sell. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> uh, firefighter calendar and... Uh, it's I, looked, awesome. I looked right into right into the center of Lund there. I shouldn't do that. But uh, uh, we don't blame you if you don't put that up. But uh, it, it's a we conversation piece nonetheless. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Uh, so again, uh, Kendra, Samantha, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, we learned a, a lot today. A new experience for a lot of us too. For me, uh, getting getting the treatment and while we're doing the interview. So again, uh, Hebe Beauty Bar, uh, we already knew coming in, there was, there was so much great word of mouth uh, about your business. And uh, now that we're here and we see it, yeah, definitely come in here and uh, check it out. And uh, yeah, thank you again to both of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dear.